I know in a vlog a few months ago, I said I wasn't planning on doing any more episodic content here, but I guess I lied. <laughs> I thought it'd be interesting to do a 1.21 hardcore playthrough in the snapshots. And then our goal is to get all the advancements. And as the new snapshots come out, you know, the advancements for 1.21 will actually be introduced and we'll get new features and we get to try the trial chambers and hopefully not die if we encounter poison skeletons and yeah, should be interesting. I hope there's not a big hole in the boat that is my plan for this, where I know since they switched the snapshots to be sort of like this data pack fashion as to how they work. I hope that when I update to the new snapshots, it doesn't mean this world is stuck on like a data pack running the prior versions. Someone more technical than me notices that I might run into issues outside of the possibility that there's like some crash or incompatibility. Let me know if I'm headed for trouble here. But in any case, I think when I said in that vlog that I was not planning to do any more episodic stuff, I was just, I was under a little stress at the time, still trying to sell the old house. I was very busy, didn't have a lot of extra time in the schedule. And I was like, you know what? I think just, just no more after Create Above and Beyond. And uh, yeah, I thought, I don't know, be interesting just to do a straight up like vanilla playthrough, like actually real true vanilla, none of that synthesized extract stuff, because often when I say that I'm going to play vanilla, right, it's actually I have, you know, fabric installed with, with sodium and shaders and all that stuff, but those don't exist yet for the snapshots. So here we've just got that real expensive, authentic vanilla. Because I think vanilla, like real vanilla is actually really, really expensive up there with saffron or something like that. I don't know, I, I don't really bake much except when we do it on a live stream and then I'm just kind of in the way there, but I, I just exist and try to follow an occasional instruction while mostly cleaning up the kitchen because I'm afraid of ants. Yeah, that's me baking and so look at us getting advancements i do in my other monitor have the all advancements tool that speedrunners use just to keep track of what we've done here in this world and as it looks right now it hasn't actually tracked uh what i've done but I i'm sure it will do that shortly but look to to advancement stone age getting an upgrade now we'll say like i don't know if the advancements tracker itself will update with the snapshots that eventually introduce the advancements for 1.21 but i suppose we'll see as we go, i may have to track a few advancements just uh separately on their own make sure to like the video one like for the start of a, a brand new Minecraft series that hopefully will will be long lived and I don't just die in episode three because I get shot by a skeleton or something like that. Although it's it's very possible. I'm I'm actually afraid of the trial chambers, which which is exciting, right? I like the fact that the trial chambers, from my experience playing it in the little snapshot review video, was intimidating enough, and I was taking enough damage with the set of gear that I gave myself. They're like, okay, if we run into one that has poison skeletons, this may be something to uh, take care in hardcore mode. Like they're gonna do more damage and uh, it's gonna be a little bit dicey. Yo, rune portal over there. Let's hit that up, see what we can get. Maybe some good stuff, maybe work our way towards being able to make, I, I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just making a butt. You know what? Nothing like a bit of exercise going swimming out here to start. I'm not gonna help myself with a boat, not yet. I don't deserve it. I haven't done enough to deserve a boat. I do wanna find a trial chamber. Please go! God, did I forget to enable toggle sprint? I swear I had that enabled in my standard vanilla saves. Yo, Gapple! I mean, that's actually, like, that's pretty clutch for a little start here, in case we run into any trouble. I might not be too attached to the world. What am I saying? I'm attached to this world. This is the world where we will get all the advancements and nothing can stop us. I'm gonna make a boat now. And also an iron ingot. Oh baby, look at our advancements go. They are going so good. Even if I can't actually get the gold yet. 
wonder if there's a boat anywhere around here. We could just get a nice, oh, wait, is, I just tried to zoom in and then I realized that's not gonna work here. Oh yeah, there we go. Might be able to get some iron, head start, pickaxe, be able to break the gold over there. I don't know if I should go full speed runner uh, strategy to try to get to the nether and stuff if our goal is to live, but definitely what I should do is figure out why the heck my toggle sprint is not turned on. Okay, there we go. Now we got toggle sprint. I, in this series, okay, I would like to, yo, we got a couple smithing templates there. Let's go. Oh God, don't drown, don't drown. Get out of here. Go, 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 go. Up, uppies, uppies. Ooh, just in the nick of time. So I know everyone's always like, ah, oh, he's gonna do another underground basement dungeon. Oh, he always does it. But I have an excuse here, okay? The tough brick palette is so cool. And I feel like a dungeon works great for it. So I would do this even if I was normally an above ground, beautiful house builder. And to be fair, when I did a little uh, 1.20 playthrough on a live stream, Okay, a little live stream series recently. I built a very beautiful, pretty kawaii above ground house in the cherry forest. So this gives me, a, you know, it's, I did the above ground house thing recently. So I have an excuse, but also the tough bricks are so cool that it just, it just makes sense to do it. Why wouldn't I do it? There's no reason not to do it. It's a great idea. All right, I'm glad that we're all on the same page here. It's very good that, that you, I can see you now agreeing with me and we're all in agreement. That's awesome. That's so, so good. Okay, cool. Should I make maybe a sword? Should I just save these for, I don't know. Anyway, we'll make a, we'll make a temporary house, but I can even make my temporary house just a little underground dungeon thing. And then we can expand it out later. And I even have, I have a whole vision in my head as to how we can make this thing look because tough bricks are so cool. But I just realized, what am I doing? I have the buried treasure map. I should probably go, wait, oh, did I just like go towards it or did I overshoot? Let me see, it is to the south of us. So I kind of, yeah, I went the wrong way. It was probably just kind of within view nearby when we were at the ship. No, actually I just went right over the thing. Where are we going? We're going a little west. It's gonna be way underwater. By the way, so I, I should mention, I've done all advancements once before. It was in 1.19. Um, it was not in hardcore. I can't remember how many times I died doing it, but I did successfully complete it. Spoilers, if you hadn't seen the series, it was live streamed and stuff like that. But here we go, 9-9, right? 9-9, I think we're in the chunk. And uh, so it'll be interesting to see like what's new in 1.21 as far as advancements. I love it when it's this, you just see the little raised piece of gravel, you're like, ah, oh, it's under the, no come on, man. Just one diamond, everything else is just iron for days and a couple of, uh, sure, I'll grab that. I don't need the prison right now, I'm gonna drown. Okay, cool. I'm having perfect timing exiting the water. This is good for us though, because now we'll have a little bit of armor to go along with things, but I did it. And <laughs> that was the first time doing it after, God, how many years I've been playing Minecraft? I guess that was about a year and a few months ago that I did that series. So, you know, solid like 12 years after starting to play, finally completed all the advancements. Did them all, every single one. But there will be more now. Here, let's make ourselves some armor and uh, be a little bit safer here in our hardcore playthrough. Might not be the worst idea in the world. Keep a couple spares and then uh, got our water bucket. Okay, so I gotta figure out like, where do we do our first little uh, house that in all likelihood will probably end up our only little house, but it's fine. You know, uh, uh, some sheep might actually be a good thing right now. It's a good thing I saved a couple iron, because possibly surviving a full night without a bed in hardcore to start with might not be the most ideal thing to do until we've got better armor. So uh, there you go. Use the last couple pieces of iron. And hello, sheep. I'm not even going to slay you. I'm going to let you just live and regrow your coat over and over again. That's it. I thought it only gave me two wool from two sheep and I was gonna be like, oh, that's just not okay. But we are okay, everything's good. And a bed and oh, good, thank goodness, it doesn't work. Like, just started this uh, new 
mod pack and the, the beds work like terraria where it just speeds up time around you and and the monsters are still doing their path fine they just yeah it's not wouldn't be good in hardcore let me tell you it'd be pretty bad so anyway glad it's like a normal bed but i bet there's some people who are like that just makes hardcore like way too easy the fact that you can just sleep through the night with with the little bed the most powerful item in all of hardcore minecraft that bed is i'll leave you be i'll leave you be i have a few fish i can also get a few more fish we'll be pescatarian for a little bit until we actually start farming and i'll, I'll let you guys just go on about your business you were you were with child i i understand that uh, it'd be nice to Keep the child just, you know, with, with parent there for... So bad at this. I hope you know that in sparing you, you've forced me to showcase my whiffing, punching fish repeatedly. I've taken taken a reputational hit due to avoiding punching the sheep. And I just want you to know that, sheep, okay? This, uh, this is a big sacrifice that I made for you. Hey, we got any uh, nice caves over here? Maybe? Take a little look-see down. You know what? Also, oh my god, I can incorporate copper into my underground base because you know when we find a trial chamber i can like mine it out as an amazing incredible source of copper and it can it's gonna be such an easier decoration block to use without having to go through all the smelting and stuff and people are sitting this list listening like he's he's not actually gonna follow through on doing like real decoration is he no i'm gonna use the tough bricks and then possibly the copper. I don't want to overpromise. I'd rather underpromise and overdeliver here, but I am going to use the tough bricks. I can tell you that much. I wish you could use gamma here, man. I still can't believe they removed the ability to adjust gamma and the options TXT. It still bothers me to no end. Like, oh, okay. All right. Welcome to Minecraft Hardcore, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves our first little freaking place here. I would like to light it up. There we go. Let's get some good stuff. Give me the, give me the full-on enchanted gapple here. Come on. Full-on enchanted gapple. Start us off right. It's not going to do that, but that's, you know what? That's okay. That w just, it, it would have made things a little bit too easy to start us off. We don't, we don't need that. We still need our, ch we need our challenge here. Inventory is already getting clogged. I'm, I'm going to need to make a house, but you know what? Oh, look at this. Ooh, look at this. Look at this place. Oh, this is kind of a cool place. Honestly, build a little starter house. I could even do it and then have like a, an XP farm in range or something. And then there's a tree, a, a natural tree here with a waterfall falling on top of it. Now, if that's not a beautiful natural formation, I don't know what else. Look, I can, this could be a, it's a house perhaps in like, I don't know if that's gonna be in too close a proximity to the spawner. And it's gonna be annoying if we ever actually do turn that into an XP grinder or something like that. But this would be a cool place, wouldn't it? I mean, it would be. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, let's set up here. We could replace all this with the variations of tough. Have like a glass window here leading out to a deck with beautiful water formations and then easy access to caves down below. Brilliant. Couldn't think of a better natural area to start off with. Okay, let's get some chest action going on here so we can clear things out just a little bit and then yeah, you know, eventually uh, sort stuff out. I need some more wood to take down below. So let me just grab some more trees really quick and then I think, uh, yeah, probably a bit of caving. I keep trying to zoom in like every time I look far away and it's, as you can tell, it's clearly not something I can do, but old habits die hard. No, it's probably never gonna stop throughout the entire series, me trying to zoom in. I might actually have to use a spyglass here, which I I guess would give a use for, for copper, to be fair, except it also is sacrificing a slot in my hot bar and those, uh, those don't come easily, you know, you gotta, you gotta savor those. You gotta use them uh, for only essential items and stuff like that. All right, I would tree rack, but I don't wanna wait. So let me make another chest, get everything put away, and then we'll be ready to head down. I don't know if this is gonna be too small an amount of food to go underground with, but I guess we'll see. I might as well just smelt this up, bring down some coal so we can make some more torches. I realize like for once I'm not actually setting up right next to a village so that I can get easy books and stuff like that, which which would be a wise thing to do for the sake of all advancements. But um, that's actually like, that's kind of a cool area up there too. Oh man, I could even like interconnect. This could be like a storage area, right? And then we could have a place that connects up to that area, which could also have like a glass kind of window. I was gonna say porthole, but porthole is small, like big glass window looking out. There's options here if we wanted to go for 
sort of a beautification. Or, I don't know. I don't know. There's there's things. It's possible. Let's go uh, down the hatch. Here we go. Iron. Wait, I think I saw some iron down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. Look at this ravine, dude. It's a cool spot. A very cool spot. We can hopefully get full suited up in iron as we go here. Should I go fetch that up there? Eh. Eh, not too big of a deal. Oh, I hope this I hope this is like a big cave network. Just massive, massive caving area with diamonds everywhere and it doesn't just dead end and go to nothing because that would be extremely disappointing. Oh, it's happened before. I have been burned before though. What do we got down here? Please go places and don't just be nothing. Okay, more torches. It's just the mm. Man, just want some gamma in my life, please. I just feel like, you know, if I if I want <laughs> to brighten up the place, right? Should be given that option. It shouldn't be enforced, you know, from the from the manufacturer like, "No, you can't you can't do that to your own game." But what oh jeez. Oh, gee willikers, we getting into a little bit of a As long as a skeleton does not show up, we should be fine, right? Huh. 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 Yes, pick up the flesh of your brethren. <sighs> okay, I mean, this is one of those situations. Ooh, look at the bean block. One of those situations where um, it 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 uh, might be, uh, my food might start to run out. Oop. Let go, let go any further down. Let go, let go to deep slate area. I think he just went right off the waterfall. <laughs> Poor guy, he tried to get me and it was a uh, nope. Not going to happen. I engineered that trap to perfection. Sending the creeper off to his not really demise. He's probably still just kicking it down a little bit lower. Ooh, look at that down there. That's pretty cool. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, nothing scary at all about this. I do need to remember I, I have a gapple. If things go bad, that I it'll be really embarrassing if I die having forgotten to eat that and I just have two gapples in my hot bar and I'm dead. Wouldn't that just be a darn shame? And then we'll make ourselves a helmet and boots. And now we are incredibly safe. Nobody has ever died before in a full set of iron armor. I'm incredibly survivable and I might as well upgrade an iron sword and maybe iron other things because why not? All right, got a little mine shaft down there. We've got some deep iron. I'm trying to see if there's any jarred on you miss diamonds opportunities. I'm so used to playing with the shaders that highlight all the ores for you. It makes them way easier to spot. We don't have that here, which is disappointing. I also should have made a bow before I came down here, but I don't really have arrows to be fair. So no, okay, okie dokie, here's the deal. I'm gonna need you to shoot the Zambi, shoot the Zambi. Yeah, Zambi, oh, he's sitting himself. He's, wait, 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 if he, if he shoots me, oh, he's gonna wreck himself. Oh my God, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's gonna shoot the zombie. The zombie is now attacking this. I have big brained this encounter like nobody else. Absolute galaxy brain moment. Okay, well, I don't let him come back. He's gonna come back up. And then I'm just gonna rain down some arrows on his head. Yeah, no, come close, a little closer, a little closer, buddy. You're just a little bit closer. Please don't wear out my shield, it's unnecessary. I would like to take you out without having to lift a finger. Come on, he's learning from his mistakes. Come on, this freaking guy, dude. This freaking dude, bro, guy. Oh, he freaking went through. There we go. Hey, we got a couple arrows at least. Didn't want to drop his bow, but uh, I can't believe the zombie lost. I was really rooting for him. I'll tell you, he should have won that encounter. He really should have. Get some more iron. Now we'll just kind of start to build up a surplus. And, I mean, we have enough to be able to make some boots for heading to the nether already, but it is what it is. Hello, buddy. No, 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 mm -mm -mm. I mean, yes, we can always just block the explosion, but I might as well get some gun pow pow. Hopefully we can find some diamonds. Oh man, they could just be lurking anywhere, man. And I wouldn't be able to see them because they're not glowing. Shaders are so nice. And then I'll have the issues with the freaking, there's diamonds. Boys, that was some speedy diamonds right there. And then, and then tough, wait, is there a better tough vein to grab? Let's get that right there, hold up. The glow licking though, it always just trips me up. I take a look at it and at a quick first glance, it's like, oh yeah, that's, no, it's not diamonds. It's definitely not diamonds. It's just freaking glow licking. Nobody wants that. Oh, look at it. Look at the recipe unlocks that we have just accomplished here are unparalleled. The greatest blocks to have been added to Minecraft in a generation ever since the introduction of stone bricks. However, God knows how long ago that was. This is the addition of a lifetime. 
okay? For a person such as myself, who's a big, dig a rectangular prism into an underground area and make a house out of that, unparalleled, truly. You know, before I exhaust my iron pickaxe, let me just grab the diamond right here. And, oh, pretty please. Pretty please, fingers crossed. I <laughs> don't just drop this in the lava. God, that would be such a me thing to do. I mean, no, I haven't done that recently. You definitely haven't seen a, a YouTube short of me dropping some diamonds into lava. Well, oh, it's more than one. Oh my God. <gasps> it's diamond pickaxe territory. Out the gate, our first diamond vein, and it's not even a, a, a single. Actually, to be fair, when they introduced the tweaks to the villager changes, which I have uh, so politely declined to enable here on this world, <laughs> the biome specific villager traits. Um, that was when they also introduced diamonds being more common underground, right? Or was that a different, it wasn't even a snapshot for 1.21, it was kind of like a, a separate thing that they were doing at the time. But maybe that's, are we in that here? I don't actually, I don't know the story of the timelines for like the not 1.21, but still kind of snapshot experimental features. It's uh, yeah, anyway. All right, but let's go, now that we have diamond pickaxe, I mean, let's go grab some of that. Let's go grab some more of that duff. By the way, if you have any interest in playing some Minecraft with your friends, you should check out our server hosting sponsor, Apex Hosting, and use code Captain Sparkles. Link in the description to grab 25% off your first month, maybe uh, over winter break. Play some Minecraft with some friendos while you're traveling elsewhere. I mean, you just gotta love Tough because despite its name, it's so quick to mine, even without efficiency. What a beautiful block. Just absolutely, I tried to zoom in, I keep trying to zoom in. I was like, that's diamond, nope, glow licking, glow licking again. Don't worry, we can get some more lapis. I feel like we've got enough tough, like uh, three stacks worth in order to get a, a good start, get a stone cutter going, be able to to start uh, lining the walls and then the ceiling and stuff with a little bit of tie. It is diamonds and then the, come on, let's go. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm just getting lucky or uh, again, if, if the more prolific Diamond generation is active at the moment, but if it is active at the moment, then god dang, I better keep going into these open caverns because we gonna be getting a lot. Come on, multiple, multiple, give me more. Maybe check those corners, check those corners. Okay, I guess that's it, whatever. Two diamonds, still two diamonds. I'm gonna make a diamond sword. That that iron sword did not re receive a great deal of usage, but I, you know, I, I, I bid you farewell. I cast you into the fires so that you can return to where you once were. Okay, yeah, yeah. If there's diamonds that are more prolific, they will be here. And then we will be able to start making diamond armor. Perhaps even just a quick look ski around and see if we have, oh, look at this. Look at this place, dude. Look at this place. We've not run into an underground uh, ancient city yet. It's probably good. But when I did the 1.19 all advancement series, like I go underground and it's just like, oh, so that's an ancient city. Hey, there's diamonds. Also, look at the new bat. It's a new bat, dude. Oh, he's looking so bat-like. Okay, there's there's mans. There's mans in, in places. I gotta be a little careful. Might as well grab a, a bit of gold. Um, it would be embarrassing to get this far and then die. So, uh, we'll try not to do that. Hello, buddy. Uh, nope, nope, nope. And then yeet, and you're done. Man, I just wish I could switch these in really quick. It would illuminate the area. I'd be able to see what's going on, but no, instead I have to put the torches down for light to be emitted. I miss my shaders and optifine and whatnot. There's more diamonds. Come on, let's go. And even a minecart. So maybe, maybe, maybe we could find ourselves some more diamonds in there. No lava? Yes, come on, let's go. Oh my God, it keeps going. At some point I'm gonna have to hold off and just get some fortune in here, but for now, Hello? Oh, more gapples and more torches. Very nice, very nice indeed. Bro, gapples for days. Wait, I, I have to remember, I ha Is that a trial chamber? Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we found our first trial chamber. I, for a second, yeah, I said this was gonna happen, didn't I, in that video? <laughs> for a second, I was like, did I mine into a stronghold? No, no, because that would be crazy. Um, but we did find a trial chamber. Okay, so I'm a little, I was a little nervous to go into that, like, right now, this very moment. But we know where one is, and we could, you know what we're gonna wanna do, probably, is like, create some dedicated uh, entrance 
right? Like a water elevator to up and down to the trial chamber to take advantage of the trial spawners, right? Cause that'd be kind of sick. I don't know if I want to like full dive into there yet with just iron armor, you know? <laughs> I do have a tendency sometimes to kind of uh, zone out and, and autopilot and forget you, you are playing in hardcore. There are poison skeletons that can potentially be the mob of choice. So do be careful, but also, the, I mean, this does present an opportunity to simply <laughs> best torch placement ever. Uh, get some tough bricks. Get some copper, maybe. Now what's on the other? What's, what do we have on the other side? Here? What we? You know what, dude? I could, I could yoink myself real quick. Just a few like copper accent blocks. If we, if we can enter in kind of a like a safe area, right? A little, little safe zone. I don't have much to throw out here. Uh, just, you know, I could grab myself one of the. Uh, one of the nice lights, copper bulbs, and use that as a method by which I could even like turn on and off lights inside the house, which we may not want to do functionally and allow mobs to spawn, but we could have like torches and other stuff like that, and then just, you know, switch the copper lights on. And... Oop. I believe I've set off a trial spawner. Mm, so perhaps I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I want to at least have diamond armor before I venture into there. It's, it just, it's like not a necessary risk to take at the moment. And, and it's not like we're having a lot of difficulty finding diamonds. So those dudes are gonna, they're gonna chill though, right? Like the mobs from the trial spawners are, they're perpetual. So they'll just, they'll be there for a bit. Like, I'm not, I'm not like scared, scared, but in terms of risk reward, it just doesn't seem entirely necessary. Also like each one of these is a single tough brick. I don't think I need it. With a stone cutter, these are easy. Just all as good as tough bricks. Do I wanna go for the Enderman though? See if I can just snag a quick little, little pearl, maybe? Perhaps, oh, double Enderman. I mean, I mean, let me just try to find a nice like open spot where no one's gonna try to third part. Oh, I thought there was triple Endermans. So part, you frickin' fricks. You frickin' fricks, dude. Hold on, hold on. Oh my God, these boys are, they're going insane. Wait, 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 No, I said no, I said don't do that. Dive and dive and dive. Maybe we're not gonna do the Enderman thing right now as much as I really wanted to do that. These dudes, man. They saw I had an opportunity to get ahead in the Ender Pearl department. They're like, we better interrupt him. Okay, 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 this is, this is, surely this is gonna work here. Watch, 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 watch. This is totally gonna work. Okay, wait for it, wait, wait. Go down here. Definitely not gonna get third partied. I'm still far enough away. Please do not third party. No third party. No third party. We're gonna get like one ender pearl out of this, right? One ender pearl, and that'll be really valuable. Come here, buddy. Don't fall into lava or something stupid. Where's your friend? I could, I mean, you know, the more the merrier here, because if you don't drop it, then maybe, yeah, exactly. I need the other one. Where is he? get an angle here. Did he, he, he went? Yeah, he left. He's like, this is, I don't, I'm not falling for your tricks. I'm smarter than my friend. All right. Uh, no diamonds. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, this is a good start. We've got our tough. That was our goal. Our goal is not to get like resources and stuff. Our goal is to get building blocks so that we can build a beautiful house. That's what I'm all about these days from super kawaii cherry homes to beautiful simultaneously above and below ground dungeon homes, which is kind of what this is gonna be. All right, I mean, I've been playing a lot of Lethal Company recently, so it should be easy for me to find my way back out of here. Oh, you thought I was gonna, you, you saw the diamonds over there. You thought I was just gonna not go get those. Mm. I thought I'd, I thought I'd give you a moment to just be about to type the comment, like, Jardon, you missed, a, just avoid the diamonds right there. When you're under, you missed them, you just, God. Mm. And no, oh, I see them. Me? Miss Diamonds? I would never. The the whole jarred on you Miss Diamonds thing, that that whole thing, it came about, it, it's like a form of irony because I, I never miss diamonds. And so therefore it's like, what? Jardon would never miss diamonds. So let's come up with something that's like the opposite of what he would do. Is he would simply never, right there. <laughs> okay, don't like the fact that there's a gaggle of skeletons that are probably going to see, he's gonna notice me if I get too close. So I'm trying to do this in the uh, smart way. Just build it over and we'll build ourselves a little, little crow's nest of air superiority. Oh my goodness, he knows us, oh God. He's missing, he's missing. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's a fool. 
He's a fool. Oh goodness. Okay, it's just it's just that one man's though. <laughs> my my diamond mining crow's nest is working incredibly well until he freaking knocked me off. Probably. Nope. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, he's he's gonna try to get around. He's gonna do a little vant. He's gonna do a smart little maneuver here. But I'm not gonna allow him. Do we have any? Uh, no. I'm checking corners. I'm checking. Okay, that's it. That's it. That. But a nine diamonds. I mean, not bad. Should I get some? You know what? Maybe I should get some obby while I'm here. Just so that, like, if I want to, I can start doing enchantment tables. Uh, I haven't found a lava pool, though, have I? This will be a little... Actually, you know what? I heard lava kind of bubbling next to our, our home. So there might be, like, a surface lava pool just hidden behind some stone blocks at our little house area. So I might just go for that. But there's more diamonds, dude. Okay, it's gotta, the diamond changes must be in effect here because otherwise, like, there is no way that I am just spotting diamonds every which way, everywhere I look. It's like, oh, there's another vein. It just lures me deeper and deeper and deeper. It's like, a, it's just a relay tag of diamonds. Like, every time I get to the next diamond vein, I look further down and, oh, there's another one. Is that it? Is this only a solo? Unbelievable. You let me down. Oh, but don't worry, there's another one. <laughs> Like I said, it's a relay of diamonds. Everywhere you look, you just spot another one. At least slightly hazardous. Oh, there's a skeleton that I hear, and, and we are adjacent to a good time right now. A very good time indeed. Is is where where is he? Where is where's my where's my boy who is sure to just try to pop out of nowhere and ruin my day? I hear him. Give me. Give me. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing this instead of just going for fortune first. Maybe, is this, was this a double diamond vein combined? Oh my god! Oh, this thing of beauty. This is the worth of 20 diamonds, folks! Holy frick, I could just, you know what? I'm going full safe mode here. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna do a little bit of that. We'll save, you know, I'll save some for the sake of maybe a diamond axe and, and a shovel or something, and then the enchantment table. But honestly, a haul and a half. A real, real, okay, hold on, any more <laughs> diamond, diamond relay, where's the next, where's the next, I don't see it, I don't see it, am I safe, am I in the clear to actually start going back up, I guess I am, okay, back up we go, with my impeccable lethal company sense of direction, oh good lord, uh, you know, at this point, I, they're so plentiful that it's like, I don't even, I don't even need to, I don't even need to wait for fortune, right, I, I just, I don't need to, but also, oh, you want, you want me probably to just do a little bit of hazardous building over the lava, don't you, in order to get there, okay, no, no, no skeletons, no skeletons, I have the water ready to go, I've never messed up an MLG water bucket before, my god, I'm on, I'm gonna run out of blocks on the way up, I don't want to dip into my tough reserves, because they're for building, and not into the lava. Yes. Oh my god, there's just so much. It's insane. A sight to see. Oh my god, it just keeps going. What is this? This is insane. Oh my god, look at these diamond veins. Huh. Now everyone's like, oh, I see why he decided to play in the new 1.21 snapshots. It's all starting to make sense. Hmm. Jardon Cheeserson. Oh, and he's just gonna be rolling in it in diamonds here. Honestly, I hadn't even considered it. Oh, I see skylight. Beautiful. I also slept because I didn't feel like arriving back into the base and just being presented with a creeper blowing up our entire environment and destroying. Actually, no, it would have helped. I do need to excavate the floor and the walls in order to replace them with tough, unless I just build on top of them. But maybe a creeper would have helped with that. Just a little bit. All right, do we just, oh, dude, I can climb the waterfall. It's so picturesque. And then right back, there we are. Home, sweet home, or at least it will be once I get a stone cutter and get to work. So I will admit, I may not actually have enough tough to do like a, a full coverage of all the walls and the ceiling and the floor here. So I'll start off with the floor and then, you know, we can just over the course of the uh, next little bit or so, work on making sure everything gets fully covered, but let's grab ourselves some tough and maybe convert like, I don't know, a stack. Into, I think polished tough is really good for like a, like a floor, you know? And then we'll definitely want, like we're gonna want a good amount of bricks for the wall. And then I'm thinking kind of like I've done before in a snapshot video of doing like a row of the chiseled to accent the top, maybe the bottom, but okay, so, so check it. I guess I should start one in. 
right? If I'm gonna, if that's gonna be the wall there, and then we can just kind of tile the floor. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna look so good. It's gonna look so good, dude. And I just love that there's like a variety of them, you know? And then maybe, okay, maybe we can go to the wall over here and then I'll have to just, you know, dig a little back from there. And then we do the, the bricks on the wall, all right? So I can kind of, unless I have an alcove here, which is kind of what I was actually going for a little bit. So hold on, if I just cover that here, look, 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 look. And then we get some of this going down here in this area, going up to the top. Actually, that's gonna be the ceiling level. And we wanna, we're gonna have a row of like the chiseled up there, so we kind of build it up to one below the ceiling, all right, like that. And then maybe do like a little alcove in here for the chest. Well, I don't know if this is actually just gonna genuinely turn into pure pure storage area or not, um, but we'll, we'll see how I end up laying out the whole thing. But if I did like that, right? just a little alcove in there. And then here, I'll, I'll take a couple and I'll turn them into um, just the chiseled ones, just so we get a little demo here. I don't know, I could also use the, I meant the chiseled bricks. We could also maybe use chiseled tough at some point, but then look, look, look. So we do that, and then above it, we put the ceiling, and maybe maybe for the ceiling, we just still stick with that. And then, yeah, yeah see, look at that, look at that. Now that is looking like a polished, underground cave theme for us, except I'm 100% gonna need to go down and get about like 20 stacks more tough and getting a bit of efficiency would probably be helpful for us for, for that. You know, it'd be more helpful before that, some food because boy oh boy, do I not have very much of that. I do have a carrot though. I do have a carrot inside of the chest. I might've gotten lucky from a zombie drop and didn't even realize it. And um, we may want to do, dude, I could do just like a little floating dirt platform over there, have our crops kind of growing like in the lake, sort of, might be a good way to do it. See, look, I got the carrot in my inventory. Do I have any dirt? I don't, but I can get some. I'm going to need significantly more, more tough, like, like a, a lot of it. I'm gonna need a lot more. Now this is just me like spitballing here, but I'm trying I'm trying to think of a way that we could accent things further. And I don't know if just like uh, non-oxidized standard copper would look better, but even like some kind of accent molding around the side to, to just break up the tough. Cause obviously it's all, even though we got different contours and textures and stuff like that, the, the, the color palette is all pretty simple. I like how I'm building this so, <laughs> so close to a zombie spawner. But like this could kind of break up the potential uh, uh, for you to see it as monotony with all the same color. And then we introduce that, right? And then you're like, oh, that's kind of a cool look. And we can fetch more of it from the trial chamber and even maybe mix it up with some of the non-oxidized and put that in the ceiling or something. That actually looks kind of nice there as a little bit of an accent color. Okay, okay, open to feedback. For now though, I think we should plant a carrot. It might not be the worst idea as well as, um, you know, complete our tool set, dude. Let's get diamond shovel. How about we get ourselves a diamond ax and then we'll still have plenty left over to make an enchantment table. Even diamond hoe, perhaps, I'm, I'm gonna do it. We're balling, bro. Diamond hoe, episode one, Minecraft, Hardcore 1.21 all advancements. Yeah, I haven't gotten that many advancements. Actually, I've got a pretty decent amount of advancements. You tend to pick those up in greater numbers earlier on, to be fair. Um, a little bit of dirt, and then we can extend a little platform out here. It's just perfect, dude. Some little on the water agriculture. I mean, what more could you ask for here? So I'm thinking like a little platform in here, right? Just a little, little platform. Maybe we we end up kind of spicing it up by bordering it with some more. Look at that just poking through there. That's so nice. Oh, hey, bud. Oh, I see you. Just waiting to like drop down in front of me. Uh-huh, no, I, I see your strategy. You're not gonna make it happen. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work for you. I won't let it. I got my head on a swivel. Head on a swivel. You just don't even realize the amount of vigilance I have that you're dealing with right now. Okay, so this I'll replace with tough, kind of border it, surround it, probably widen it a little bit, maybe make it up to a nine by nine, but just like for now, well, eh, nine by nine might eat in a little bit too much there, but but yeah, you, you get the idea. Do I want to do a uh, do that? Get the torch on there, in the center, maybe break out that, and then uh, yeah, okay. Look at this, a farm. Not even a seedy place because it wasn't wheat. But hey, I'll tell you what, we can get our wheat going. Did I? I might have already collected seeds actually, but there we go. Boom! Another advancement. Very important. Very important for us to get done. 
Uh, this is looking a little small. Let's just uh, do just just make it up to like a seven by seven here. Farmer extraordinaire. That's what they call me. That's what they call me. Beautiful. I don't know if the torch is going to reach out to the edges, but we'll see. I suppose. Beautiful. Look at this, dude. We are off to an incredible start here. Minus the need for significantly more, but it's something. It's it gives us something to work towards. So I think that's a good place for us to wind it down for episode one. I hope you've enjoyed so far. Stay tuned for future episodes in the unexpected episodic series, and uh, subscribe. Check the playlist. There might be more episodes for you to jump into, and I'll see you in the next one.